So this is uh, from one of our writing workshops that we did. Um, and this is along the Where Are My Sisters theme. It's Mercy for My Sisters and Me, The Arts for Vet Sisterhood. Are you my sister? No sister of mine envisions being pierced by the thorns of the dead-hearted black rose. This flower of visual death and violating disrespect, seen even with eyes so tightly shut and tears hot as flame, streaming down her anguished face. Help me, here I am. Are you my sister? No sister of mine intends to speak only to be truncated, cut off, severed from her brave thoughts and saving voice, shut down with dismissal. Let me help you, here I am. Are you my sister? No sister of mine says or truly believes her opinion, belief, or perspective is the only one that is the only one that is right and everyone else is wrong. Suddenly, my peripheral vision narrowly detects a swooping in of, what is this, a second narrator? It thrusts its chattering head betwixt the listening narrator and the learning writer engulfing the space, creating a three-headed puppeted monster of rash fury. The single vacuous hole boorishly blabs on, affixed to this interfering narrator. It caustically shouts to everyone else, all the while remaining within spittle distance of the writer and the original narrator, shirking its volume and inhumanness, subduing all within its range of its trumpeted, parroted voice in every ear canal. Say it, say my name, say the narrator says. The writer and the original narrator collectively gaze in shock and remove themselves. Completely unaware of its singularness, this tyrannical narrator beats upon its own puff chest, exclaiming, I'm right, everyone else is wrong. The writer gently reaches out her hand to her narrator and whispers soothingly, there, there, that is not her sister. Are you my sister? No sister of mine shushes my voice. When I want to speak, she hears me. When I need to cry, she holds me. When I am not, she is. Here I am. I am your sister. Thank you.